Hello everyone, it's Phil. I just want to share this project I'm working on. It's a Windows 98 SE graphics benchmark project. Now all the results and the charts, I will put them on my website and I'll put all the links down below. So what is this project all about? I like benchmarking. I don't know why. It's heaps of fun and I enjoy benchmarking old gear a little bit more than modern gear because you can get all the high-end stuff, the ultra cards and all that for quite little money. And Windows 98, I'm quite fascinated with that operating system. That's where all the 3D stuff, the 3D magic happened early on before moving to Windows XP. And people always compare cards and want to know which card is better for their machine. So this is what this project is all about. I'm starting with a fairly fast machine. So the machine I put here together is a Pentium 4 running at 3.06 gigahertz. And it's got an SIS chipset because that chipset supports the AGP uh, 4 standard. So it is compatible with the 3.3 volt cards as well as the 1.5 volt cards. That means I can use older cards like the TNT or the Voodoo 3, for example, that usually don't work on faster motherboards. The way I've configured it, I've got the graphics card here. I'm using a Diamond Monster Sound MX300, so that's a Oriel Vortex 2 A3D sound chip, just to have the benchmarks a bit more realistic when you play the sound. Usually you get slightly less performance. A stick of 512 megabyte of RAM, and I'm using dual hard drives. I've got a 2 terabyte Seagate, capacity limited to 32 gigabyte with C tools and I'm using a SATA to RD adapter. And then I've got another 80 gigabyte SATA hard drive. This is just for disk imaging. So I'm using the Western Digital Edition of Acronis True Image to take images. And that just allows me to roll back to the beginning whenever I swap out a graphics graphics card. That way I don't get any issues with uh, drivers. For example, if you go between driver versions, you might have some files left over from the old version. So I want to avoid that and make sure that everything is legit and error free. I'm using a 24 inch monitor from Samsung. That means I can benchmark all the way from 640 by 480 up to 1600 by 1200 and 1600 by 1200 is quite demanding a lot of windows 98 games do support it but graphics card at the time weren't really powerful enough to run the games so this project will show you what card you need to get for what game at what resolution to get the performance that you are after what benchmark am i using i'm using future marks 3d mark 99 3D Mark 2000, Forsaken, Turok 2, Sirius Sam, Expandable, Earth 2150, Descent 3, Unreal Tournament, MDK 2, GL Quake, Quake 2, and Quake 3 Arena. So there's a wide range of games that use DirectX as well as OpenGL and are less demanding and also more demanding so that Old cards can be used and compared, but also there's a bit of a challenge for some of the faster cards, especially at 1600 by 1200 resolution. In terms of resolution and color depth, I'm benchmarking at various settings. I'm benchmarking at 640 by 480 by 16. I'm benchmarking also at 1024 by 768 by 16. And then again at 1024 by 768 in 32-bit color depth for the more demanding cards. For example, the Voodoo 3 cannot render at 32 bits, and so I felt it was important to include the 16-bit color mode so we can actually compare where they stand. And then also 1280 by 1024 or 1280 by 960, depending on what game. Some, some games use 1280 by 1024, others use 1280 by 960 and then that's in 32-bit color depth as well and then at the high end 1600 by 1200 at 32-bit color depth. The first graphics card I'm using is the NVIDIA River TNT2. There are three versions, the standard TNT2, the Pro and the Ultra and I'll do a separate video where I talk about the card. So the plan is 
that are review cards as they come into my lab. I'll show the results. I'll show how they stack up with the competition. In terms of timing, this is not a project that I'm going to finish in a week or a month. This will really be something ongoing. It might take me years, to be honest, because the plan is to benchmark every card on the 3.06 GHz processor. However, not everyone is going to build a machine that fast, so then I want to go down back to maybe a 1.4 GHz or a 1 GHz or maybe a 400 gigahertz machine so this will keep me busy for a very long time and hopefully you're a subscriber of mine and you're interested in this stuff and it's a journey and we're gonna find out together what these cards are like so that's it for this video stay tuned let me know what you think any tips comments suggestions always eager to hear from you and very shortly I'll upload the uh, other video where I talk about the TNT 2 in a bit more detail